to the Gulf Quebec Thursday and Montreal Saturday. As we take a look at the standings, the Bruins' tie last night keeps them one point ahead of the Montreal Canadiens for the top spot in the Adams. The Sabres have gone 7 and 1 since one of their first nine. Let's continue to struggle while Quebec is riding a nine. Let's continue to struggle while Quebec is riding a nine-game losing streak. In the Patrick Division, everyone's chasing the New York Rangers. The Caps and Flyers tied for second with 20 points. The 10 and 8 mark is Washington's best ever start. Now coming up between periods tonight, we'll go inside the NHL with Kevin Dupont of the Boston Globe, and John Pearson will join us with his unique analysis. Now for more on tonight's matchup, let's join Fred Cusick and Derek Sanderson who are standing by at the Capitol Center. Fred and Derek. Thank you, Gene. Boston against Washington, and the Caps have done pretty well, Derek, considering the fact that they're missing Cicerelli and uh, some key players, Zazzle among them, and uh, also Neil Sheen. They made some big deals in the offseason, uh, but Scorton and Stevens gone. A lot of the load went to Hatcher. Of course, he won't be playing tonight, but he did play an awful, he played awful well for them. The Washington Capitals are off to their best start in certainly years. So at 10 and 8, they're doing they're doing things right. I think they've got a lot of a lot of the what were considered lesser lights really working hard and performing for them. And they've been getting somewhat uh, decent goaltending. They're okay. Overall, you look at it, a lot of parity in the league. The Islanders uh, clobbered Calgary the other night. So <laughs> any given night certainly applies, right? Anything can happen. Anything. It's the work ethic, I think, is really that's making parity happen. When you got the Islanders beating Calgary, the Flames must have just came in and played kind of kind of a dog style, and the Islanders just worked. And that's what's going around the league. Work ethic is what's winning hockey games and goaltending. Well, Mike Milbury has changed his lines uh, a lot. He changes yes. them by the minute almost in that uh, Boston bench. But he's got a line now of Hodge, Carpenter, and Neely, and they're going to stay together. Uh, Ken Hodge is going to stay here. I mean, he's playing extremely well, and that is because he is working. He can score goals as well as set them up. Right now, they're not going in for him, but they are for Bobby Carpenter. With Neely and his consistency, Neely was, I, I believe, the only player that ever got 50 goals without getting a hat trick first. And so that is because he's consistent. He gets there every night, does his job every night, and gets a goal for you. So that line is certainly going to lead the way. But the Bruins have to get, still, more goal scoring out of the other line. And for nearly a goal and a couple of assists yesterday, Pittsburgh gave him a ton of room. It wasn't a physical game by Pittsburgh. And while Pittsburgh has a very promising team, that may cost them later. They're a fancy team. And fancy doesn't often win. This is a very physical game played by physical people. And the Washington Capitals will come out tonight hitting. The Bruins must be prepared for that. And we'll have the opening face-off in just a moment. TV 38 Sports presents Boston Bruins Hockey. Brought to you in part by Delta Airlines. You love to fly, and it shows. By Budweiser, the king of beers. Remember, know when to say when. By your local New England Volkswagen dealer. Well, you'll find Farfignugan. It's what makes a car a Volkswagen. By the Harvard Community Health Plan, the plan for life. By Baybank, introducing the card with new express checking. Now you can shop by check without writing a check. By McDonald's, the place for food, folks, and fun. And by New England Telephone. We're the one for you, New England. New England Telephone. the Caribbean and throughout North America, only one airline covers so much of the world with so much warmth. We love the American Express Car invites you to Vail and Beaver Creek Resort for the winter vacation of a lifetime. The specially priced Vail Valley Ski Package offered exclusively to American Express Card members includes five nights lodging lift tickets, American Airlines airfare, and a free day of skiing at Beaver Creek Resort when you pay for your holiday with the American Express card. Welcome throughout Vail and Beaver Creek Resort. For reservations and dates available, call 1-800-525-2257. What kind of paint was that? 
Watercolor. <laughs> Owning the wrong car can be expensive. These two lost more than $2,000 in trade-in value in less than a year. This Toyota, less than $300. And that can save you hundreds, even thousands on your next new car. Better resale value, low repair costs, trouble-free ownership. Probably why so many people drive Toyotas. See your New England Toyota dealer today. For Toyota value, it's the best deal going. Schick, our referee tonight, in Landover, Maryland, the Washington Caps. Of course, our, our opponent, Ryan Bozak, Mark Vines, are going to help him out, getting organized, pumping each other up there. And go over the Boston Bruins, Reggie Lemel, in two-game absence with a mild groin strain. Reggie was playing well before he went out, winning two of his last three outings, tying one of them. Going to get it going again tonight. Mike Leuton goal for the Washington Capitals, 7-5-0 with a 3.58 goals against. But he plays extremely well against the Bruins, as in his history. Bruins want to get to him early and often. Fred. down in the corner. Carpenter moving for it, but Rod Langway gets it to Leach. Two New Englanders, and Leach is over the line, going hard, forced wide. Leach puts it near the net, knocked away by Lemlin, and centered by Ridley, but Miller trying to put it on, jammed away by Lemlin. Now behind the net, Reggie, very mobile, and he's taken down on the play, and the Bruins get it, though. Out to Neely. Neely checked, and Hodge trying to break away with it, and he runs hard into Langway. Looking for the puck in his feet. Very dangerous. Langway saw that. Popped him a nice one. Tatarinov, a uh, Russian from the Moscow Dynamo team, is out on defense with Langway, or was, now a change. And over the line comes Joel Quenville for John Druce. Broke it up, brought back over the line, but the play is called offside as Rouse brought it in. This broadcast authorized by the Boston Bruins Hockey Club. Solely for the entertainment of our viewing audience. Any broadcast, rebroadcast, other use of the accounts and descriptions of this game without the express written consent of the Boston Bruins or TV 38 is prohibited. Mike Milbury getting things organized early. Just not let the boys go long. Fred, last night, eight minutes. The eight minute mark, two goals up, call the timeout. Regroup the team. That has to be a National Hockey League record. That's <laughs> Pittsburgh. The team's ahead. And he calls the timeout. Well, he keeps things happening. Pavanko over the line. The backhander in a save by Lemlin. And once again, the Bruins off to a slow start in this particular shift. Schick lets that one go as Rajish. Rajishka is knocked down. And Rouse starting back now against Christian. Trying to pinch in. It is Peterson. It goes out to Rajishka. Starts the play back for Wesley clearing in. Rajishka's got great vision. He sees an awful lot of ice out there. He makes some great plays. Here's Pavanka breaking it out of the zone. Trying to set the play, and he stopped, and Christian coming right back. Christian, of course, the former Washington Capitol. Now it bounces back around over the line. It is a, a pass off on the right wing for Druce. Druce fires wide. Brickley breaks it up, but then it's knocked away to a cap. They move it in close. 
But for it, Brickley back in position, able to move it up on the right wing side. And Boston gets it out to center ice. Batted in by Rajuska, and Boston changes up. No score, opening minutes. And the edge over two shifts to the Caps. A little more spirit. They got a little pickier than they should have. Someone should have shot the puck. They worked their way in a couple of times real well. Icing against the Caps here. 17.38 left in the first period. The face-off to the left of Mike Liu. Barry Murray, the Washington coach. Got him moving the puck well. So far this game, I'm impressed with their moves. They held it, held it at the right time and slid it off to a curling man. He's got to watch that late man. Got to pick him up. Face off now in the Washington zone, and it is Bob Sweeney. He has Burridge and Nylon on the wings. John Sweeney and Gary Galley are on defense. Hunter lost the face off, and the Bruins trying to capitalize on it in the corner now. Around the boards, Burridge digging, moves it up. Nylon bangs it to the other side. Bob Sweeney back to John Sweeney. The shot tipped and blocked by Liu, and Nylon got a piece of that one in a bit right back for the caps they try to set a play for hunter that doesn't work and with it Burridge a good shift he's over the line has the man open nylon walks in scores chris nylon set cleanly behind the defense by Burridge makes it one nothing boston washington capitals all up the ice a broken play an excellent beat his man at center ice move by randy Burridge went out wide by Chris Nyland. Watch Nyland just to let delay a little bit on the outside so he can get this puck onto his floor. Right there, he waits. One more step, he gets it onto his forehand, finds five hole. Mike Liu down very early. And it is Chris Nyland from Randy Burridge to make it 1 0 Boston as we near the three minute mark. Three seconds. Right here, Chris Nyland, his 100th goal. Get away, trickles it off. A leg. Good hustle by Nyland. And a fourth line out there for Mike Milbury now. Back for it. It is Ray Bork. Bork away from Murray's forechecking. Up for Janney. Janney over the line. Can't really, move it. can't really call Craig Janney fourth line. I didn't mean that. It's yeah. the fourth line being fourth. used by Mike Milbury. Okay. And back at the Boston end, it trickles in near Lemlin. He drops it off. And Carter trying to come out. Works it to center ice. Fires a good break here with Janney. The shot to save Liu, Dan. He had plenty on that one. Lyndon Byers really drilled that from the off-wing side. one nothing Boston. Wesley starts it back. And loses to Rod Langway. Langway leads the rush. Right back looking for Ridley. Check. Tries to move it in. Checked on the boards. The Bruins could trap him, and they do. Carpenter breaks. Carpenter fires. It hits Tatarinov, the Russian defenseman. He's number three. Locked it. Get up. Try to move it out. Kept in. Bounces for Hodge. Can't get it. And the way in the center ice comes Leach. Long shot. Save Lemlin. The clear. Not out. Kept in. Now blocked by Wesley. Around the boards, looking for Neely. It's outside the line, knocked back in. The Caps have to clear it, so Wesley has time to move it to Peterson. Up to center ice for Carpenter. He had a great day yesterday with two scores. That's the fourth time in four minutes, Rumlin come out of the net to handle it. Actually seems to start early, seems to happen all night. 15-12 left in the first period, one nothing Boston, icing against the Bruins. And we'll return to the Cap Center in a moment. Your Dodge dealer is now showing his most exciting new lineup ever. Featuring the redesigned Dodge Caravan. I like the new shape. The new Shadow America, the lowest priced American car. We pay cash for our cars, so the price is very important. The new Dakota V8, available with more power for less money than a Ranger 4-liter V6. I could tow a 24-foot boat with this. Welcome home, America. Come see what we're made of. 
Havanka ready for the faceoff. More and more, the European players, the yeah. Russian players. What's the reaction in Canada, Derek? To this? <laughs> I mean, it's taking jobs away, isn't it? Oh, I no, they're accept. taking jobs away from everyone, and Americans and Canadians as well. The draw is back to turn up. Right. Pass saved by Lemon. Hard shot. And the Bruins break it back quickly over the line. Drops it smartly for Christian. The shot is deflected wide. Dave Christian trying to move in. Brickley with Rajiska and Christian. That's the line. Brickley trying to get it in front. And the play is blocked. Knocked out to center right. Darn Sweeney has trouble with it when Rajiska gave it back to him. That's a loose puck picked up by Brickley. Brickley loses. Bruce is over the line. The shot, the save. Stand up goaltending by Lemlin. Boy, the middle name of uh, Morgan Lemlin, that's stand up. Behind the back, a pass intercepted by Drews. Rajiska tried that one, and it didn't work. Pavanka gains the line. Pass to Wander, and it's knocked outside the line by Brickley. 14-12 left in the first period. It is 1-0 Boston on a Chris Nyland goal. Bork gets it across for Weimer. Change in the defense pairings, too, Derek. With Weimer playing with Bork. I know they like to move them, move them off it. Get them up there and change them. How they play last shift. Maybe you want to keep them on the bench for the next shift to talk something over with Gordy Clark. Bob Sweeney trying to move over the line, but the play is offside. 13:43 left here in the first period. See, a lot of that time, a lot of that goes on, friend. If Bob, we take a look at Bob Sweeney, fixing the tape, got to have the blade nice and neat. You want to, you're talking in your conversational, maybe your positional play, and, and you, you want to keep that player there to get some point across. But sometimes you just throw a player out, see how he works with another one. Dave Bork certainly used to play with. And Bork can play left or right, so he is playing right defense with Weimer left defense. 13.40 left in the first period. 1-0 Boston, Chris Nyland from Randy Burridge. Bob Sweeney starts the play, and over the line, it is intercepted. May trying to cut in front and get that loose puck, but it didn't work. Kiprios fighting for it. Johansson able to keep it in as they pinch in. Kiprios behind the net, trying to put it in front. Deflected away, and a penalty coming up, a high sticking against the Bruins. They'll be short. The Caps on a power play. The Bruins lead it. one nothing back in a moment. Eastern would like to explain the concept behind our new corporate rates. It's really quite simple. You get the same coach ticket that puts you back here on other airlines, except you sit up here in first class. So for what it costs to fly back here on them, you can fly up here on Eastern in our new first class section, which is twice the size of our old first class section. Up here for the price of back here. Only offered here. Right here, a little dump in the corner. That is considered a high stick. Bob Sweeney, kind of a cross check, got it shoulder high around the face. That's when it's got to cause a few problems, but Caps with a man advantage, 23%, ranked six. However, they are 33%, a phenomenal 33% at home. So the Bruins penalty killing is ranked sixth as well. Back to Johansson, up to Pavanka, into Hunter. Pavanka with it. Moving it well for Johansson. The shot was saved by Lemlin. A screen of players in front of him. Pavanka puts it in front for Drews. Drews is checked. Bruins watch him. And Good Drews. double team by Carpenter and Hodge there, but to get that shot away, Johansson directly in front, but at the blue line. Hunter all over Lemelin there. You're going to have to move him out in front of that net. Hunter drives it in around the board. It's not back in the corner. Carpenter trying to get it out, and the Bruins do it. He got it to Wesley on a deflection off the corner. Caps wind up on the power play. one nothing Boston. Pavanka looking for Tataranov, who is on with Johansson. They drop it to Hunter. Gains the line. Gives it to Johansson. Tataranov 
Johansson off for Hunter broken up. And again, the Bruins fail to clear. That's been one of their failings. They were looking for a three on one there. Gary Galley off the, the offensive play. Move the puck out. Don Sweeney moves it away, and Bruce gets it in the corner. Trying to move in front. Don Sweeney moves it up the boards. Christian with it. Great play by Don Sweeney. They're risky, but when it works, nice their hands. 20 seconds left on the Caps power play. 11.37 left in the first period. 1-0 Boston. Chris Nyland from Randy Burridge. Bruins break it up at center ice. Nyland and Burridge. A new role for Chris Nyland. Never was a penalty killer until this year. A lead now. Miller over the line. Miller trying to put it in front. Blocked by Peterson. And cleared by Burridge. Good play by Peterson. Bob Sweeney out of the box. Almost stole that. Great play by Peterson. Bruins very effective job of penalty killing. And now they press in the end. Rouse able to get it away to Liu. Dangerous almost stolen by Burridge in front as Liu took some time to get rid of it. Now in the center ice, it is Leach over the line. The former Madignan High School star is broken up on the play and it's cleared out by Wesley. Rod Langway on it before the game. Played in his 600th game and tried to move in. The play offside. 1-0 the Bruins on TV 38 at the Cap Center. The switch is on. In the past five model years, over 103,000 Cadillac owners have been turning in the keys to their Cadillacs and turning to Lincoln. Turning to Lincoln Town Car, Motor Trend's 1990 Car of the Year. Now with $1,500 customer cash. Turning to Lincoln Continental and Lincoln Mark 7. Also with $1,500 customer cash on all 90 models. Why this dramatic shift in preference? The Cadillac owners obviously discovered a key fact. Lincoln is what a luxury car should be. Little nick. Rod Langway didn't pick up a little nick on the side of the eye. 600 plus games, seven All Star appearances, Norris Trophy winner. I remember him at UNH, a oh. linebacker. Could have made it in the pros yeah. football. Oh, good athlete. Would have been a devastating linebacker in the pros. Well, he's a devastating hockey player in his career. He's made some great. Rob Schick fell down. The fans yelled at that. Great save there by Lemlin. And a follow-up. Oh, magnificent. On the drive-in by Rouse from the right point. Reggie Lemlin, solid. Bork digs it out. Lemlin saw that coming, tried to kick it out over the blue line. Never seen Reggie so mobile. Yeah, he's all over the place. And Carpenter in the center ice. On the right wing side. On Langway. Taken down by Langway. And Bruce starts it back with Pavanka. Gains the line. Gives it to Bundra. Bundra holding. Gets it off. Uh -oh. Pendle a shot. Scores! Pendle ties the game at one. Set up by Bundra. Now ah, you can see that coming. Bruins overran their men. All of them are down tight. Reggie didn't have much room to move. And Bundra finds Glenville. Watch the Bruins all down deep. Three of them on top of each other, and no one near the puck area. Flips it over to Quenville. Up over Reggie's arm. Right there, they're all drifting by to the same man, anticipating a dump pass. Down low, it came to Bonder. He kept it up high. Ex-Hartford Whaler, first of the year, Joel Quenville. 10.08, the time of the goal, and the game is tied up at one, and you can't allow anybody to defense for it. No, they were to close that one. No, it's scary. The Bruins have done that on four or five occasions. Lemelin's come up big on three of them. In the Boston end. Boston trying to come out. Injured cap player. Down. Could be Rouse. Could be Kiprios. It's Kiprios. The forward. And now they're after Galley. Ex-Washington cap. Let's see what comes of this. Lyndon Byers is out there, and uh, <laughs> Lyndon Byers linesmen immediately go right to Byers. Oh, Byers. Right here, Galley sticks a leg out. They kind of lock lock knees a little bit, and the bad break went to Kiprios. 
Gally wanted to hit Checkham, changed his mind. It was a little too late for that. The field's just not ready for it. Seems to be okay. And the score, Bruins one, Caps one. We'll return in a moment. Nothing beats it. Nothing beats it. The one and only. Nothing beats it. The clean, the crisp, the cold. The king of beers. Nothing beats the bud. Nothing beats the king of beers. Nothing beats the bud. Kiprios, all right. There goes a more of a scare than anything. He thought he might have damaged his knee. He's fine. But he skated very well moving yes. to the bench. I, I think he could hurt as he went down. Well, we got Lyndon Byers in the box. There's kind of a locked legs with each other. I mean, he might have hit the ice. That's what he seems to be, his mouth. He might have hit the ice with his face. Murray and Byers get two minutes each for roughing, and we hardly even saw that, but out they go. 9.28 left here. The teams are at full strength. One to one the score. Chris Nyland for Boston. Joel Quenville for the Washington Capitals. Havaka, Drews, Vondra, the line for the Caps. Vondra clears it in. Back goes Gallant. Ooh, he is smacked hard by Pavanka. And the Bruins trying to dig it out. Drews takes a hit. Canny moving for it. And it goes to Bondra. Shot blocked by Galley. Bruins are playing the pocket, not the body. Canny. That can get you in a lot of trouble. Beautiful kick out save. Lemlin on Bondra as the Caps fired up. Apparently angered at the hit Galley gave to Kiprios. Puck bounces into the stands and a face-off call near the Washington line. 9.45 left as uh, to see Pavanka throw his weight around. There you go. Greg Gannon went in playing the puck. Bondra. Get it, but Lemelin sees that all the way. Decides to kick it out all over the blue line himself. Great timing on that shot. Complete anticipation by Lemelin. Saw that all the way. The shots in the game, Derek, are 10 for Washington and 2 for Boston. Strictly steal. Shot in a save, you. Katarina trying to move it out. Pinching in as Peterson breaks it up, keeps it in as the Bruins press. Rickley now checking the play deep. Taranoff moves it around. Christian fighting for it in the corner. Really, the whole game thus far has been Washington on the offense. Bruins right now a little tricky, waiting for breaks to happen. They've got to force them to happen. Peterson fires it in. The shots are 10 to 3 for the Caps. Nine minutes left in the first period. One to one the score. Well, Lemlin has been sharp as Moog was yesterday. Taranoff, a long shot from the blue line. Rebound, Weimer on Hunter. And they get entangled. The Bruins get it out to center ice. A good play by Brickley to control it, move it over the line. Can't set a play with Rajiska. Weimer knocks it in. The Bruins have to clear the zone, and the lines are changing. Back now on the right wing comes Hunter. They flip in. Ray Bork. Trying to move it out. Leach checking the play. Bruins able to clear it out. And they start back on the break. Burridge going. Man open. Can't set him up. It was Chris Nyland. Moving for a score again. Possibility. Nice play by Rajika to come out of their end zone. And a whistle for a face off. One to one the score. We're in the first period at the cap center. Constantino Pantano practices a certain school of medicine, the old school. At Harvard Community Health Plan, we subscribe to the new school, one that believes in a planned approach to prevention, early detection, and effective treatment of illness. 
and nearly 500,000 people in New England believe in our plan, many of whom also enjoy garlic. Harvard Community Health Plan, the plan for life. Well, somewhat reminiscent of uh, last night's game where the Bruins started very slowly. We're ahead two to nothing as they jumped out one to nothing here. It's kind of a Mike weird... Mike called that timeout. It's kind of a weird season thus far. Hot and cold. Mike Milbury would like 60 minutes of consistency. He is not getting it. Courage back now for Nyla. And the play is offside. Oh, Trying to move in. And well, Murray's is. being a tough guy. That's a run in with Byers. Now he high sticks Donnie Sweeney. Well, this will be a different game from uh, last night's because uh, Pittsburgh, not physical at all, and a penalty called on Murray high sticking. Introducing the Boston Bruins Classic Collection, exclusively available from the Bruins. Order the exact same jersey your favorite Bruin wears. Receive a certificate of authenticity. Go work on shorts, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all available. Any player's number you want, plus much more. Call today for a free brochure. 1-800-5-BRUINS. Well, you just saw the penalty there. A little bit of a kind of a punch. High stick punch at the fist over the butt end of the stick. Bruins first power play. First power play. Now this is where a power play can can really scare another team. They won't take those cheap shots that Murray just took if your power play can start scoring goals for you. Your power play can intimidate people more than anything. Steal by Neely on Langway trying to capitalize on it. Take it down. Langway gets it trying to clear it out. Down the board stopped by Bork. Right point. Flip in for Carpenter. Carpenter looking for Neely. Neely bangs into Rouse. Rouse gets it, though. Up for Miller. Miller clears. Weimer is back for it. And in pursuit, Bandra. Weimer looking for Neely. Goes in deep. Carpenter. Carpenter back for Weimer. Weimer holding. Fires. Knocked wide. Bork keeps it in. Back for Weimer. Weimer got rid of it quickly. Locked in front, Neely digs it out for Weimer. Slap shot. Locked wide. Hodge in front. Neely. Locked. Oh, great camp there. Neely from Hodge. And Bork to Weimer. Weimer to Neely in front. He is covered, broken up, and cleared by Rouse. Uh, Neely had one labeled. Oh, he tried, tried far corner on the ice. Liu's very good with his legs. Read it. 5.44 left. First period, 1-1. One, one. Weimer on the power play. Drives it in deep. And is kept in by Bork. High shot, wide, centering pass. Rajiska trying to move it in. Can't do it. It is cleared away. Fired down the ice by Dave Tippett, ex-Hartford Wheeler. Out as a penalty killer, along with Bruce. Washington's penalty killing, 87%, ranked third. Bork over the line. Rajiska. Moves it across. As the Bruins set up, Wesley. Save! Rebound! In front! They couldn't quite bang it home. What a great play by Ruzicka to Brickley. And the Jaff picked it off. A soft pass. Austin coming back. Wesley. Loretta Galley clears it in. Around the boards, it is even strength. The Caps survived it. The Bruins put on a pretty good power play. And the Caps attack now. Ridley over the line. Cuts wide. Forced behind the net. Hit hard on the play. Trying to work it in front. Does. But it's jammed up by Lemlin. And a faceoff call. 4.29 left. 1-1 one, one the score. Not a bad power play for Boston as we look at Reggie Lemlin. He'll be 37 this month. Yeah. You had Washington did not kill that. They survived it. Rod Langway just left the ice. Right here's the windup. Comes through. There's the save. A little through the feet. Rajishka tries to make it. I mean, Neely tries to make the turn. There's the right leg save. Watch this play in here. Right here. The shot goes down low. Rajika gets the rebound. Stops it to Brickley. Just gets picked off. An excellent play by Rose. It is back now. It's hard enough. And perhaps keep it in. The pass is intercepted by Byers. Baez coming out. 
Is it to Janney? Janney back for Baez. It's broken up. It's kept in by Carter. Janney in traffic. Drops it. Don Sweeney drills it. It is blocked. And the Caps break it out. Kiprios coming. Kiprios has stopped. Good play. Alan May trying to keep it in. He played for the Bruins briefly. Rated as a tough guy along with Kiprios. A lot of hitting in this one. Much more than last night's Pittsburgh game. As the Caps battle, work, and keep it in. May. Kiprios. This is not a finesse line that the Capitals have out there. They just got some, some hitters and Murray digging for it. Bruins trying to move it out. Still can't do it. It is kept in by the Caps. Or they say no. Just outside the line on that play by Lawler. And it is one to one at the Caps Center, Landover, Maryland. We've placed these two similar 4x4s in this swamp to see if there's any real difference. Sure, they both have plenty of luggage space, room for five, but only the Isuzu Trooper has auto-locking hubs, so you don't have to get out to get in to four-wheel drive. So, combined with its very low price, we see that only the Trooper won't cost you an arm and a leg. The Isuzu Trooper at just $13,699. There's no comparison. Now, package dealer incentives could save you up to $2,000 on a Trooper during Isuzu's bottom line sale. And now's the time to select the teams for the 1991 All-Star Game held January 19th in Chicago. Boston Bruins on the ballot. Andy Moe, Ray Bork, Glenn Wesley, Craig Janney, and Cam Neely. Cast your vote. Be eligible to win a trip to the 1991 All-Star Game in the Fans' Choice Sweepstakes. Again, the pressure by Washington, but Wesley breaks it up, clears it out on the right wing side, and breaking Nyland could not handle the pass from Bob Sweeney. Starts the play again. First nine of the Boston score, Joel Quenville for the Caps. Bruins have slowed down that cap attack now, and the shots are 10 to 7 for the Caps. Bruins put on a good power play, moving up their shots on net total. In deep, Johansson trying to come out. Burridge hustles after him, checks him on the play, battling Bob Sweeney, and it's kept in by Peterson. Very in deep, Rouse with it for the Caps. Four checking, Burridge breaks him up but is tied up on the play and can't capitalize on it. Excellent for checking by Boston here. Bob Sweeney moves in, breaks it up. The puck drifts away, though, and the Caps break it out. In the center ice, Rouse, the defenseman, moving. And that pass across the wing. But Flatley did not work. Penalty coming up here on Boston. Puck kept in by Hunter. Shot a save. Loose puck. Finally, Burridge on it. Where's the whistle? There it is. It is a power play for the Caps. 2.20 left here in the first period. Chris Nyland tied at the end of a shift. Took his man. I think what you had was Schick. Watched Nyland. And the intent on his face. Nyland right there curling. There's the elbow in the head. And an elbow on Chris Nyland. The Bruins shorthanded. Second power play for the Caps. Our producer-director from Cap Center is uh, Ken London and uh, Derek Sanderson back from Florida, honored by SAD, Students Against Drunk Driving, and Man of the Year Award uh, yesterday. Very nice time. Uh, four days down at Singer Island, West Palm Beach. I thought it was Miami. It was, yeah, it was uh, in West Palm Beach. An excellent time. Geez, the kids are great. 48 states represented. SAD program doing well. It's a student program that's working. Well, congratulations to uh, Derek, and now a power play. Carpenter against Ridley. Puck one for Tatarinov. Up for Ridley. Good looking power play. Keep it in around the boards. Johansson back at the point. Boston trying to check the play, but the puck is swept in to the corner. Good movement by Washington, Fred. Just, just always somebody open. They are moving, moving well. Miller jams it, save, score! Firing home as Lee. And it is two to one, the Caps on a power play goal. Great movement on that power play. Nobody stood still for a second. See right there, the man on the point has the man in the corner. He has his point man partner, the man in the corner. Now he's got a man across the net. He tries to stuff it. The leech is right there. Thank you. Cam Neely has got a little late, caught between the point, man. 
Ray Bork is down there alone with two men. Nice, nice footwork, kick it up to his stick. Well, the other big break was the way that rebound came. Miller fired on Lemlin, and it deflected almost 90 degrees across the leash, where ordinarily it would bounce out in front somewhere. Yeah, but and then Bork eats it up. But Steve Leach out of Marignan High School. 18 goals last year for the Caps, and the Caps in front by a score of 2-1. to one. A steal by Neely on Ridley. For Hodge, for Carpenter. Got his wide. The rebound. Bruins fight to keep it in. It is knocked away. Back for Jim Weimer. 124 left now in the first period. The Caps out front, 2-1. to one. They have shown a lot of spirit with... Yes, they have. They're skating hard. And over the line comes Goose, and he has Three. a man open for Marker. Broken up by Park. Gives up by Lemlin, and tied up by Lemlin. 2-1-1. One, one. They broke in that time, and the Bruins not consistent in this period. A little tricky. Ray Bork forced to go back, turning his own end. Now back to Gene Labanchi, a preview of our first intermission. Okay, Fred, thank you very much. The Montreal Canadiens have their eyes on first place, battling the lowly Nordiques tonight and coming up between the first and second periods. We'll check out those highlights, plus we'll have a look at the latest NHL news and Needham and Quincy face off in the women's division of your New England Volkswagen dealers' mini one-on-one. -on -one. Right now, though, let's return to Fred and Derek in the nation's capital. Bruce broke in with Pavanka, almost paid off for another score. 106 left. It was virtually a three-on-one. Ray Bork picked the pass off. Boston trying to come out. Peterson checked by Bondra. Jammed up. Boston has trouble moving it out. Pavanka works it free. Gets it for a straight stop there. That was uh, Schick. Rob Schick, the referee. Burge is coming out with it. With some authority, hits his foot. Mike Lawler drilled that one. And it was labeled. I don't know. The Bruins... Got to kind of shake the cobwebs off here. Washington skating very well. Looking to trap them. And once they get the puck, everyone's on offense. Well, if you could just take the word intensity and measure it, yeah. you have to give the edge to Washington. Washington at this point. 48 seconds left in the period. Two to one, the go-ahead goal by Leach. What wrestles that away from the team is a couple of good, solid shifts in a row by a couple of Bruins forward line. The Caps are up to 15 shots. And then a couple of power plays to help out, but they've been carrying the play. And May comes back, and he's upended by Alan Peterson. A good check. Flatly moving in, uh, Tippett moving in, and uh, try to check it. The Bruins get it out, fire it down. Burridge hustles in, bumps into Leute. But Lawler breaks it back and drills it in the Boston end. Lemlin the story to keep it down, and the Bruins trail by just one. Go into the dressing room and regroup. Rouse's pass blocked. That'll do it in the period. The score at the end of one period is Washington 2 and Boston 1. Now to Gene Levanti for tonight's first intermission. Okay, Fred, in a moment, highlights and scores from tonight's action around the league, a check of the NHL news, and John Pearson's expert analysis. This and more ahead as Bruins Hockey on TV 38 continues. <laughs> 